The Eminence in Shadow gets a movie and new Mushoku Tensei season two information from Chibi. Goddamn, we eating good. Let's see what he has to say. What a time to be an anime fan. It's Hell been yeah. a fantastic week for anime news to mm. One Piece remake being one of the biggest mm. announcements of the week. That's right. I heard the East Blue arc is getting like a, a complete remix. We're getting One Piece HD for the, for the fucking East Blue arc. But we also have stuff with like Chainsaw Man. And now what I'm going to be covering is stuff to do with the Eminence in Shadow and yeah. also Mushoku Tensei. Woo! So this stuff came out. They're actually holding hands. I mean, they were holding hands last, like, and in, in at the finale of season two. But goddamn, glasses are off. We're just fucking straight up dating in public. Out earlier this morning, and let's just get right into it. So first things first, let's talk about yeah. Mushoku Tensei. So there was an announcement a while back that we were going to be getting some more information for season two of Mushoku Tensei. And as you can see here on screen, we got a key visual that dropped earlier today that kind of hints at what is to come. And to kind of give a reminder for those that have forgotten, at the end of season two, core one, we had it to where Sylphie and Rudy pretty much were going to be getting married. We, we Like it's straight up done. We're just locked in. She is the one to be loved. But like at this point, wouldn't it be funny if like Eris or some other girl gets thrown into thrown back in and it's just like disruption, fucking outer chaos. But who knows? Maybe we'll just fucking hard commit to Sylphia. I see that it's April 2nd year though, huh? God damn. After solo leveling and classroom of the elite next season, we got Mushoku Tensei to look forward to eating good. And I believe Slime should be coming back season three in April, I think. We we had the whole thing kind of going on there at the end of the episode of the finale for, you know, the first half of season two. And so you can kind of look at this segment here of like Rudy and Sylphie. They're having like a honeymoon or, you know, in a world of bliss right now. Every you think they would show us like the honeymoon scenes? No. I mean, then again, they've seen they they I've the the implied sex scenes have definitely been shown through Eddie Nadice, so I don't know, maybe everything seems to be going well for them. It's a really interesting key visual, honestly. I like the way the key visual is presented, and especially the house in the background. I think it kind of is implied what's going on there. I'm not gonna dive too Is this an Isekai love hotel? Is that what's going on right now? Hold, hold up, are they just coming out of a fucking love hotel? Maybe? You're like deep into that, but there is something that doesn't need to be talked about. There is the elephant in the room, so to speak, what? that I've seen quite a few people talk about when it comes to this key visual that came out today. And that is the fact that Rudy's face here, I'll probably do a zoom in for you can see it better. He's smiling? But Rudy's face seems very off in this key visual. And a lot Does he look off? I don't know where he's going with this. He looks pretty normal to me. Maybe he's just talking about... I actually don't know. A lot of people have been talking about it today. Basically saying that Rudy just seems like he's a lot Smiling? younger than he was at the end of the first half of season two. Does? I guess he has a little bit more of like a, like a smoother baby face here. That's just what happens, man. When you get a girlfriend, you, your life just turns around. Which, to be fair, taking a look at this... That definitely, I agree. I actually agree with that statement. I do think that- Oh, and we're just coming out of a, what's presumed to be an Isekai love hotel with Sophie. And he, he's got his life back in order. His dick is functional. He got a girlfriend. Everything is looking great. So, so of course, he's going to look try to look younger. He's happier. His face definitely looks a little bit weird in this key visual. I think one of the reasons why maybe it looks weird is because of the angle of the head. The way his head is kind of like turned down or whatever. Yeah. I think that is probably the reason why it looks weird. But if I do- do have to say i do think that his model design like with his face it looks like they're trying to draw him as if he was a kid at you know in season one so i don't know what's going on there i, I mm. maybe there was someone that like missed the memo that rudy needs to be aging but uh yeah the, i have seen people discuss this all day today and kind of used it as an excuse to basically say that mushiku tensei season two is going to be outright just dog crap and going to be awful etc that's fucking insane these turbo fucking virgin weebs are taking this fucking promo picture of what seems to be a little bit younger Rudy and saying this is why the anime is gonna fucking suck. Core 2. Like, 
That's such a small trivial deal. Does that even matter? That's fucking crazy, dude. I think that's uh, too soon to complain. I mean, I remember these exact same complaints happened when, like, we had those early teaser trailer for, you know, Mushiku Tensei Season 2. People were quick to say, oh, Season 2 is not going to be that good, etc. And it turned out to be very good. Yeah, there was some episodes that were like, eh, you know, questionable in certain scenes. But overall, it was a very solid season, and it was enjoyable. I mean... I'm a light novel reader, and I really enjoy, you know, Mushiku Tensei. I really enjoyed what Season 2 had to offer. I think it did a good job with what it had to work with. Now, with that being said, there is something also that needs to be talked about. With this key visual that was dropped, we also had, you know, information on the next time. We'll get February more information 3rd. on Mushiku Tensei. New trailer, and maybe? Will be in February. February 3rd. And if I had to take an educated guess because of when we know when this is going to air, you can see it at the bottom here. It's going to be airing in April, you know, 2024. Literally a day before my birthday, which great birthday Woo! present honestly i'm excited to have this literally as a birthday gift but uh we could see that they are going to have more information like two months prior and i'm going to assume because of that this is going to be a pv trailer usually when and we will be there to react to it anime is about to air they release a pv trailer like a few months to a month before it airs so i'm going to assume that's exactly what this is going to be about basically announcing that yeah you know here is a pv trailer for the upcoming mushiku tensei anime so that's pretty much all when it comes to mt for today but i wanted to bring this to everybody's attention because i know there's some that don't browser like online on twitter or reddit or whatever and probably have not heard this news so yeah here's a new key visual for you all to see and to speculate what is to come for the season and i want to be honest with you this season of mt is going to probably be no mm. joke the, the best? best part of mt so far like turning point three is about to happen and i hear that people are hyping this shit up like no other saying that turning point one and two it doesn't even come close to turning point three it'll make that shit look like baby shit now i don't know if this is just over exaggeration from overexcited fans but still Another turning point is upon us, I think. That's what people are estimating according to the amount of content that we have and to what, um, you know, what fucking, what's it called? What, what we can look forward to in Core 2. This is just going to be crazy. Like, I'm going to be honest. You, you're not right. You're legitimately not. Now, with that, let's segue over to the other news. Eminence in Shadow. So today, <laughs> Eminence in Shadow Season 2 came to a close. The final, you know, episode came out for Season 2. And I'm going to be completely blunt. I'm a little bit behind on Eminence. I'm, I'm catching up. Oh. Don't worry. I'm catching up. because that's, that's why I didn't see a new Eminence in Shadow video from Chibi in a long time. I was like, come on, man. I want some new Eminence in Shadow videos to farm from you. I love Eminence in Shadow. I'm a little bit behind, though. Right. But I love the series. And the series concluded today. And... What was announced with it was not necessarily a season three, but actually a movie. So yeah. we have a movie announcement for Eminence in Shadow called... Now, what is this though, right? Because we see the Eminence in Shadow Lost Echoes. It looks like we've gone back to Earth. So it's, yeah. I mean, this movie poster pretty much just like kind of spoils season two ending. I'm not really sure. I mean, it shows, like, buildings and stuff, and it's kind of post-apocalyptic, which is exactly the environment that we saw, the state of Earth when we came back, right? I personally wanted, like, a prison arc. I, th I thought it'd be a fun little thing we could do, but maybe that can be an OVA or something later, but still, I, it should be really good. Lost Echoes. And is the shadow Nishinos? Now, that would be a very good attention to detail. You can see her hair here kind of splitting across the sides. For sure, it could be Nishino. And the fact that she was talking about how, like, all her friends are, like, kind of dying as they meet these, uh... Like, we're considered, like, noble knights now. Nishino is, like, the savior. And she's doing this to, like, protect her friends or some shit. But a lot of people has died, obviously, from the encounter. So, presumably, these are the graves of her fallen knights. And... I honestly don't know what to expect because, like, I'm a little bit behind, so I don't know exactly what's going to be going on with the art. Ha <laughs> ha! You've been lazy, Chibi. He's been too busy <laughs> farming the 100 girlfriends, but totally, if he didn't see the final season ending, then I doubt that he can make the connection. Unless he's the manga reader, right? Manga or light novel reader. And obviously, I'm not a light novel reader. I'm an anime only. I don't even read the manga, so... I this is Akane going to Minos says, Grace, are you telling me that after all I just said about her fucking fallen comrades... She's here visiting a grave of a boy that she specifically stated that she doesn't give a fuck about. He's so forgettable. He's so mid. Yes, he's, she, she, he is fucking living rent-free in her head. She's visiting his fucking grave. That's hilarious. I, 
have no idea what content is to come, but I honestly am just surprised we're getting a movie. And hear mm -hmm. me out on this, okay? Before season two was announced, okay, like before we even had, you know, season two come out, I was under the impression, thanks to light novel readers, that there wasn't a lot of content left to adapt. And somehow they managed to make literally like 12 episodes for season two, which, okay, makes sense. They announced the season two. And the pacing was pretty good, too. I don't think um, there's anything wrong about the pacing. Is there, is there at any point where I thought an episode of Eminence and Shadow was lackluster or felt it was a bit stretched out? No. You know why? Because they fucking gave time for the pool episode. Y'all are probably memeing about the pool episode, but that was an integral part of keeping the structure so that we can con continue to flow and not feel like some episodes are too drawn out. But then I was like, okay, for them to make 12 episodes instead of, like, what they did for, you know, season one. Like, you go to season one here, and they had, like, 20 episodes. It's Oh, Drew, could you imagine if we got 20 episodes season again? Please, please. We, I, I got spoiled so fucking hard in season one. No split core. Just back-to-back, peak-after-peak, 20 fucking weeks. Like, yeah, it definitely <sighs> seems like they don't have much more content to work with. If they're only going to be doing, you know, 12 episodes for season two. And I hear that the Mong... I'm not sure if this is true, but with the end of Season 2 in Animus and Shadow, we are now pretty much near where the manga has been all translated to, or the light novel. I'm not really sure who said that. I remember someone mentioning that we're pretty much caught up, though. But soon as Season 2 wrapped up, they announced a movie, which mm -hmm. I don't think anyone necessarily expected this. Probably Nobody not even did. Season 3 or anything. It's just like... From once yeah. again, from what I was under aware of, there just wasn't enough content. But apparently, there is enough content to, at the very least, do a movie. Now, let's get into this bombshell of a topic, okay? So okay. basically, what is I, it? I think everybody has noticed by now, when it comes to a trend in anime, that nowadays to continue anime, follow up seasons, etc., usually a movie is made. Like we've seen this, obviously. Maybe hot take. But I'm actually not too um, happy with movie announcements. And hear me out. As I, I, I have no doubt that the movie of Eminence and Shadow will be fantastic. We'll watch it and we're going to enjoy it. But I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more if this is like a season three announcement. If they, yeah, maybe there's not enough material. Maybe the next arc is just perfect to be contained in like an hour or hour and 30 minutes format. But like, I would rather just have another 12 episode season. Just more content. At the end of it, that's just it. I just want more Eminence and Shadow content, you know? I think some small arcs, right? I think it definitely makes sense to make a movie out of it. But still, it's, it's like, I would have loved to have another anime season, re uh, season announcement. But hey, if we're going to get a movie, at least that's, that's better than nothing, right? It's still better. Sometimes you just don't have enough content to work with, man. You just don't. Obviously with Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer, I always bring this up, but I think it's very important to talk about. Demon the Mugen Slayer, train. I think, is what really brought it to the forefront and made it popular. Yeah, there was mm. always anime movies made. Like, we had Naruto movies, One Piece movies, etc. Kaguya-sama movie, remember? We had the fucking movie, too. But they were never, like, canon. They were, like, filler movies. Just for the mm. fans and just to enjoy, so to speak, on the side. They were never something that was required watching, so to speak. Yeah, it was almost like filler movies, right? I mean, if... It, 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 <laughs> A lot of the old anime movies definitely felt a lot more filler and stuff like that. And it was like not critical to the story. But now nowadays, the trend has really changed. People, the movie releases like Mugen Train, that shit went fucking crazy. And ever since then, I think a lot more animes are taking this like this, this trend and trying to do more movie releases. And I'm not sure what the numbers are in terms of how much more profitable it is to make a movie compared to make an anime season. But if the pacing, you know, if you have a lack of content and you think that there's enough just enough to make a movie out of it and you can like gain more money out of that, then I guess that's what their strategy is from the anime industry. To be able to watch the next season of like the series. Another shitty thing though is the fact that movie releases often take so fucking long to be released to the global release, right? If you're living in Japan, sure, you can just fucking watch it in theaters. But like how long were certain movies just locked in Japan until it's been released to theaters in like... um. In, in, in like North America for where I live, for example, or just globally. And then on top of that, to make it onto these like live streaming platforms like Crunchyroll, High Dive, whatever, right? It, it just takes extra. I don't know how long it's going to take. So maybe some movies, I think, gets leaked early or some movies just like are able to get released at the same time. But for the most case, like Kaguya-sama, for example, that movie, that shit took forever to get here, right? 
But in this case, you know, ever since Demon Slayer did Mugen Train, and, you know, uh, it was very popular and successful, almost every single series now has to have a movie. Like, if mm. it's popular enough, it gets a movie adaptation. Like, think of Jujutsu Kaisen, Chainsaw Man now, and then we also now have this. I love how they even the subs fucking pick this up. I, I love when Ember Chibi says Jujutsu Kaisen, because it says Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, man, now. And then we also now have this. I mean, hell, you could kind of argue even Dragon Ball to an extent because of the movies. Mm, with like the Super Broly Hero movie. To also the Broly movie. But uh, yep. anyways, the point I'm trying to make is, is nowadays anime movies are the new thing. Like, it's very popular. Mm -hmm. And now to continue a, you know, a story, they work on a movie. And this is a trend. ADHD thought just came in out of nowhere. Could you imagine if they had a movie just for Turning Point 3 or 4? I don't know. Just like, imagine a movie where it's just like the Orsted encounter. And there's probably not enough content to make it a movie out of that, but just saying, we'll be kind of crazy. That is, you know, it has the community split. I'm in the middle. I lean more towards I'm happy it's getting a continuation, mm. but I'm a little bit upset because of how it forces you to watch, like, let's yep. say, a movie just to watch the next season. And hear me out on this, okay? Like, I, I'm going to use Demon Slayer as a good example. Demon Slayer basically had, like, you know, a season come out, and then they had a movie, and then they had a season come out after that, and yeah. before people could really watch, like, Mugen Train officially, season two came out, and, you know, it's just like, okay, I... So it's like a scheduling conflict that's kind of, like, offset, so if you don't live in Japan, and if Mugen Train is not accessible to you, you're just kind of fucked. Then again, season two did cover Mugen Train in a really scuffed way, right? Because they had the movie... But I think the beginning of season two, they pretty much like did anime episodes of the movie, right? I didn't watch the movie. But then come to find out, season two just had a retelling of yeah, the entire yeah, movie. Yeah, exactly. And so it seems like, you know... Pretty sure Dragon Ball Super also did this with one of like the Beerus movies. Oh, so they used the movie as a way to tie people over and then they just reuse the animation within the actual season that comes out. And I feel like it's a very lazy trend. Not a yeah, it is very lazy, but it's also very efficient. They're just recycling content. They're basically making the cake and eating it. Literally what I'm doing right now, streaming my reaction to a chibi video. And after the stream, I will literally re-upload the same fucking content to YouTube and get more views off of it. Isn't it hilarious? I'm just going to be completely blunt there. I think it is. Like, I mean, I understand that, you know, they got to do They're what they got to do. Because not everybody's going to watch the movie. But it's like, when you have, let's say, you know, the the movie come out and then you retell the movie for the first four to five episodes i feel like that does a lot of damage to the season because it's mm. like why are you retelling content you've already covered why even make the movie in the first place just there's a lot that's going on there and it's just it's very weird to me but um obviously the community is a little bit split with you know movie adaptations but i don't think eminence is going to run into that exact same problem the reason for that is because eminence you know doesn't just it doesn't have enough content to work with. There's not enough content to even make a season three. So I don't think it's going to... Because we're out of content, we will not have this movie problem. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I mean, we're out of content, but god damn, we are tapped out of Eminence and Shadow, man. We run into those underlying issues that we've seen already from other stuff and all that with the trends and how, you know, footage is reused, etc. So I just, I don't think that's going to happen with Eminence. But uh, just something I wanted to bring up. But anyways, with that all being said, though... We don't know necessarily when Eminence in the Shadow is going to be airing. We can take an educated guess and say it's probably going to air at the, you know, probably earliest, maybe a fall of next year, fall 2024. Mm. Fair, and fair. that would mean that people that wanted to watch it with subtitles would probably have to wait another six months. So, <sighs> 2025, baby. Fuck. 2025. The next time we're probably going to get to watch Eminence in Shadow is probably 2025. Which is actually good news for me, which is kind of fucked up because by then, hopefully, my channel will be bigger. That means that if I make more content out of Eminence's Shadow, <laughs> I'll be able to get more views from it. So from a pure profitability standpoint from me, it's like, <laughs> stall that shit. <laughs> Fucking put it on hold. Let me grow. So yeah, food for thought there. Yeah. But um, I guess I'll wrap up the video there. If you mm. enjoy my content, you, you know what to do. You know what to do. Go sub to Chibi. Like his videos if you did. But yeah, Eminence and Shadow, got a movie coming up. Mushoku Tensei, season 2 confirmed to be April 2nd. Anime fans, we are eating good. And don't forget, in just a week or two, Classroom of the Elite, season 3, dropping back. We got Chain Soldier coming out. And of course, the most anticipated title. Motherfucking soul low leveling, bro. We will be there to cover the content.